I'm an addict for Snickers. Addict for Snickers. Addict for Snickers. What's good? It's your boy DJ Dells back with a brand new episode here at YouTube.com forward slash the sneaker addict. Hit that thumbs up button right now if you love sneakers. Very excited to finally, finally get a pair of these Ultra Boost Uncaged shoes. So here we go with a close-up HD look at these Adidas Ultra Boost Uncaged shoes from the color pack. This is the first time we're seeing Boost Energy in a color. We've always seen it in white throughout the years and now we're seeing it in red. There's also a black colorway. I haven't seen this shoe ever this shoe flew up the shelves everywhere i wasn't able to get my pair and i finally got my pair thanks to adidas they heard i didn't get a pair and they were nice enough to shoot me these so thank you very much and i'm impressed with the color of it i think it's really cool to see actual color on boost i'm gonna be honest i'm so used to seeing just this regular boost that i've grown to love the way it looks just this look right here but I do appreciate something new. It's just something I'm gonna have to get used to. Cause there was a little getting used to with this, you know, with the actual kind of styrofoam cup look to it. And I've grown to actually love this look now, but this is really cool. I'd love to see what the black pair looks like. I hopefully, hopefully one day I'll be able to run into a store and see what the blackout pair looks like. The red pair looks great. The red matches up top on the lighter shades of this prime knit upper and the darker shades match up around here around this collar which I'm a big fan of. I think that's what makes the shoe pretty cool besides it being uncaged. It having this collar versus on the standard ultra boost right here. You have no collar but the thing I do like about this shoe Performance wise, it's caged, so you got way more support. As far as a performance shoe, I really would recommend the standard Ultra Boost shoe versus this. To me, this is something to wear just as a casual shoe. Versus here, it is way more of a performance shoe with this caged upper. Your heel counter right here is basically the same, a little bit different as you can see and you also have this pull strap which i like it's kind of like a pull strap but it isn't i call it a pull strap even though it really isn't but i like how it pops out on the back to me this is like the greatest shoe of the past decade the, this shoe is a classic this goes down in history one of the greatest adidas shoes the ultra boost this shoe right here is freaking awesome though it looks sick I just have to go back to this one right here because this is where it's all coming from, you know. And um, what they did with this is basically, in my opinion, they put the original Ultra Boost and they put this right here in a blender. See how this has the collar? And I really dig what they did. I think it looks awesome. I definitely think they're going to look amazing on feet. And I can't wait to show you guys, which I will in just a second. I do like the laces how they have that multicolored look on them. On the outsole, you have your continental rubber, so you have some great traction. I'm pretty sure it's continental rubber. Yeah, it is. I got the tag right there. Let's rip this off, because we don't need that. We wear our shoes here. <laughs> and the bottom is white, by the way, as you can see. Also, it does have an insole, which I dig. I don't really like how the NMDs don't come with an insole. I'm not a fan of that at all and that's how it looks with the insole out as you can see it is red the boost on the medial side i also noticed there is a little bit of a fuse over some perforations for breathability and i'm looking at the original and it doesn't have that kind of material here for anyone that's curious so i don't know why they did that maybe for protection also notice there's like a fuse like layer over here by the laces. I think that they put that wherever there's an opening on this knit material to protect the upper. I do not know how they fit yet. The only way I'm gonna find out is throwing them on feet. So let's go outside and let's do that. Hit that thumbs up button before so. Helps my channel, show that love, and let's go outside. So the shoes on feet, they feel great. They're actually surprisingly snug by the mid of the shoe. So I didn't expect them to feel as snug as they do, which is a good thing. 
you do feel some sort of support the way that it's set up so it's not like super loose like you know when you're walking or running I could actually see myself running in these so that's a good thing for people that are curious about that I'm actually surprised I thought it was gonna be a lot looser fit kind of like the NMDs and it's not so I take back that this is something not for performance sometimes you gotta try the shoe on this is the first time trying them on and sometimes you can't judge a book by its cover definitely feels different than the NMDs as far as the upper to the shoe let me know what you think of them leave your comments in the box I love reading all the comments so please do so and let me know which model you like better these or the NMDs all right so I wanted to go back inside and just show you guys this after noticing that this is definitely a lot more supportive than this right here if you look inside you can see there's really nothing supporting this at all but in here you will see inside that there's a layer inside that just supports the mid of the shoe more definitely locks in and gives you more lock in so these definitely are not comparable to the NMDs as far as as a performance shoe you do have some support on the mid of your foot as you can see right there and there you go with a close-up HD look one thing I think I forgot is sizing I recommend going true to size unless you have a wide wide dinosaur like Fred Flintstone type of foot then you may want to go up half the size but <laughs> but if you have a regular foot go true to size make sure you follow my Twitter at DJ Dells and also come back tomorrow for a new review subscribe if you're new and i'll see you back really really soon dj dells you know i love you oh.